This is a young male fox squirrel. He's probably between eight months and a year old. Often in the afternoons and sometimes in the evenings, he will stop by this box. This is the box that was originally intended as an owl box. It has a completely open view and from and it's about 22 feet high up at the roof. From here you can see all the way down the street. Usually he'll just come around and do a, a lot of smelling for scents of other squirrels and also marking the area with his own scent. This day is the first day I've actually seen him go inside the box to snoop around inside. It's more common for female squirrels to do this, especially this time of year, because many of them are looking for a nesting site because they're pregnant, and typically in the Dallas area, they will go into labor sometime in July and August. You can see him inspect around, he'll come back out and go back inside, and uh, lots and lots of smelling to see if he can smell the scents of other squirrels that have been here. This box actually has been the home to quite a few other squirrels, a, a female um, moved in with her two 10-week-old um, pups back in, um, I think it was April, May time frame. And uh, she stayed there for a while, and then two other young pup, male pups that didn't have a mother uh, came in and sort of chased them off, and they spent a few days there, and then they left. And then um, there was another female uh, that looked very pregnant that moved in a whole bunch of leaves. And at one point, I thought she was clearly pregnant, I thought she was going to use it as a nesting site, but after moving in the leaves and spending a few nights there, uh, she left too. So it, it's really been pretty empty for the last couple months with, n with no squirrels actually going inside. But this uh, curious little guy was very interested in, in giving it a very, very thorough look. So this is around noon, 1230. Uh, it was already close to 100 degrees, and the high this day was, I think, 106. It's probably a little too warm to be hanging out there. There's a small amount of breeze, and you can see he does chill out a little bit and um, relax and look before he decides to move on. Uh, if you're watching my live stream, you'll also notice that the other box, which was intended primarily for squirrels because it's really hidden well behind a whole bunch of leaves and it's hard for owls to access, there's been a young male owl that's made it its home for the last four weeks. So every evening, uh, he'll go off hunting about 8, 30, 9 o'clock, and every morning he comes back between 6 and 7, and he spends the day in there. Uh, while that box is in the shade, it still gets a little bit of sun, and you can see in the afternoons he will often be hanging out the opening panting, and I have some videos of that. But this guy will hang out here for, I think, total, uh, his visit was about a total of three and a half minutes. He seems very, very happy and content to me, looks uh, super healthy. I think that they find a lot of water because a lot of the yards here um, are being watered twice a week and there's always a few little puddles there from that. So I don't think they're having any problem uh, finding water even though it hasn't rained for a long time in Dallas. You can see him, he just looks really relaxed. He's just looking around, smelling the air, just kind of chilling uh, before he decides to move on. He probably is staying in, a, in an open air dray. That's when they just pile some leaves and sticks and they actually sleep on top of it. They're not actually going into a nest during the summer because it's just really too hot to have all their body heat uh, protected in, in an enclosure that would be designed to keep them warm during the winter. So here he is and he's just about to go. So I hope you just enjoyed seeing this little visit. Thanks.